Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw the head of a golden eagle with this gorgeous fountain paint from Monte Grappa. This model is the crowned skull. Underneath this path we find the manual. Let's pull it out and look what a beauty. It is full of skulls, <laughs> polished skulls. And look, there is a lock with the shape of a heart, a rose, and up there, there is a key. It must be the key to the secret lock. On the cap, it has a king or queen with the crown and some jewels on it, some red crystals. And of course, it says Monte Grappa. This particular one has a broad nib, which, if we use applying no pressure, it makes a mark like this. But if we apply some pressure to it, it goes a lot wider. And if we use the back of the tip, it is really thin. So we have quite a range to work with. Good, let's begin by very lightly marking the size and overall shape of the head. Then the beak. It is a very large and hooked beak, which will be open like this. And the intense eye. I'm drawing with the back of the nib to get a light sketch first. And once I'm happy, I turn the pen around for a thicker line. Notice that the upper part of the oval of the iris is covered, while the bottom part is all visible. I fill in the pupil all black, leaving a white reflection. And then we do thin concentric lines on the iris. Now we can begin drawing the feathers, but first let's shade a little bit the area of the eye. The feathers between the eye and the beak are very, very thin almost like little hair. First we sketch the shape of the feathers and then we can come back and give some shading. I have to say this pen really draws wonderfully. And no, this tutorial is not sponsored by anyone. But Montegrappa did give me the pen to test it out and say honestly what I thought. And what I think is that it is simply perfect. It really can't be any better. It flows wonderfully, feels great, the nib has the right spring and softness. It's fantastic. I drew a dotted line to divide the area of shade and then shaded it. Now I continue with the feathers. Of course leaving lighter the ones on top of the head as they catch more light. And within the individual feathers, we also see that the tips are lighter, while the backs can catch more shades. So we darken with hatching and cross hatching, like so. The upper part of the folded wing has small and soft feathers, which we can achieve with short lines in slightly different directions. Mankind has been fascinated by golden eagles since the beginning of recorded history. That is, forever. <laughs> they are beautiful, powerful, smart, and they are great hunters. They can fly up to 190 kilometers an hour. That's 120 miles an hour, which makes them one of the fastest animals on Earth. Very good, excelente. It's ready. Please let me know what do you think and what else would you like me to draw for you. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, subscribe to Fine Art Tips if you haven't done so already, and I will see you with more art on Tuesday.